Now we're going to take a look at several common geometric expressions. Expressions that describe certain properties of geometric figures show up over and over again in almost every math class. I'm going to run through a few of these right now and for every one of these you should draw a little picture and understand uh, what the different variables mean that I use in the picture. And we'll go over all of these in more detail later on in the course when we do a whole chapter on geometry. But these are things you've probably already seen before. If not, you need to start getting familiar with them very quickly here. The perimeter of a rectangle. So draw a little rectangle. Perimeter just means the distance around. So the distance all the way around the rectangle. Well, if we have a rectangle with length L and width W, then the perimeter would be 2L plus 2W. And this is a mathematical expression, 2L plus 2W, and it happens to represent the perimeter of a rectangle. Now the area of a rectangle. Again, draw a little rectangle. The area means the space or the, the two-dimensional surface there enclosed by the rectangle. So again, let's call it length L and width W. The area of the rectangle is the length times the width. It's commonly written as LW. Now the volume of a box. Okay, so draw, draw this, draw a little box. Start by making a rectangle. And then extend the sides like this to make it look three-dimensional. So that should look like a little box. And we're going to have a length and a width and a height. This is a three-dimensional figure, so there are three measurements, the length, the width, and the height. The volume, which is the interior space, how much the box can hold. Think of the capacity of the box. That would be the length times the width times the height. Again, we have a mathematical expression, and this particular expression represents the volume of a box of length L, width W, and height H. Okay, the area of a triangle. Draw a triangle, something like this. Triangles are often drawn, they don't have to be, but they're often drawn as if they're sitting flat on one side. It's like it was resting on the table right here. And so this, this edge that you would think of as the bottom of the rectangle is often referred to as the base. Um, I'm sorry, not the bottom of the rectangle, the bottom of the triangle. That's the base of the triangle right there and we call it B. And then how high up from the base the triangle goes, we call that the altitude or the height. And so call that H right there. The area of the triangle, how much surface that triangle covers, the area of the triangle would be given by this formula. One half base times the height. One half BH. That's the area of the triangle. The circumference of a circle is next. Okay, so draw a circle. A circle, as you know, has a diameter. The diameter cuts right across the circle, right through the center. And the circumference is the distance all the way around. You could think of it as the perimeter of the circle. The circumference of the circle can be written as pi times the diameter, where pi, that, that Greek letter pi, is approximately equal to 3.14. And then the diameter d is the width across the circle. Or you could write it like this. Instead draw a circle and instead of drawing the diameter, just go from the center out to the edge. That, that's what we call the radius of the circle. And the circumference of the circle could be written as 2 times pi times r. And you should see that 2 times r, twice the radius, is the same thing as the diameter. So the circumference of a circle, that can be written as pi times the diameter or 2 pi times the radius. And the area of a circle. If you have a circle and it has a certain radius r, 
Okay, then the area is how much surface the circle covers, and that's commonly commonly written in terms of the radius. It's pi times the radius squared. And again, pi, it's this constant, it stands for this number, which is again approximately 3.14. That number times the radius squared is the area of a circle. There are a lot of other formulas that apply to geometrical figures. Those are just some of the most common ones and some of the most important ones. And those will show up again over and over.